What's going on everyone? Welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a while, but I just had to take care of some life things and take care of some priorities, but uh, I, I've been hearing your comments and I know you've been wanting more videos, so I'm going to get back into doing more tutorials and I'm going to start with a series of quick, quick little sound design tips on basic sounds that I use in drum and bass and in today's tutorial we're going to do a basic house bass okay so I'm just going to get right into it um, so I have serum opened up here and what we're going to do first is we're going to change the waveform in serum under the analog section we're going to choose basic shapes and that's going to give us the sine wave and what I mean by a house bass is you you've, uh, may have heard the sound in a lot of old school house such as um, uh, I'm a dreamer by living joy. I'll just put that on right now. Uh, It, that song, I mean, um, MK also has a very popular song. I think it's called uh, uh, Push the Feeling. That's it. That's another popular song that, that uses it. Um. <laughs> You hear that background sound, it's kind of like an organ, so we call that the house organ, or I call it the house bass, and uh, it's a very basic sound, uh, it's simply created with um, two basic shapes, uh, they're really uh, two sine waves, so we have one sine wave here, and we call this the, the root, it's playing the bass note of that uh, house organ. And to add the additional harmonic on top, we simply activate oscillator B. Now, we're going to make that into a sign as well. So I'm going to select uh, basic shapes again under analog. Now, the difference with oscillator B is it's going to be playing a, um, a fifth, fifth up from your root note. So... Uh, a fifth is simply uh, when you have a major triad such as uh, I'll just play that's C E G that's uh, your root your third and your fifth you're simply playing your root and your fifth together so if your your root was C then your fifth would be the note G and if you look if you have a keyboard you can count if you're going every single key up including the black keys uh, if you go C to G it's one two three four five six seven so it's seven notes up so we can turn on oscillator B and if we set the semitone parameter seven tones up then by default this oscillator B will be playing at a fifth up from the root note so now we have this so every time you play a key it's playing both the root note and the fifth note okay so that's the first step is adding oscillator B and secondly to get that organ sound we simply make the octave of oscillator B one up so it's playing one octave above the uh, the bass note. So now we have this. Okay, so that's the basic house organ. And from here, everything else is optional. You can play with the amplitude envelope to control how the sound uh, plays out. So under envelope one, I can bring the sustain all the way down. So now it decays. I might want a quicker decay. So on the decay, I'm going to drag it down. 
and you might want to have s some hold that just uh, determines how long the, the note will play at maximum value until it decays, right? Okay. And then the next step we can do is add some effects. So I'm going to click on the effects section and then uh, a common effect that we can add is the delay, which will make the sound a little more expansive. And the trick is getting the, the right um, decay time. That seems to work. You can put it at one eighth. Um, you could also just adjust it by milliseconds and you can then uh, make these a bit different and then you get a little bit stereo effect when your left and right, right decays are a bit off from each other uh, you, it then gives you a stereo effect Now, the reason you might be hearing a click is that the attack needs to be smoother. That means how it, how the sound enters, since the attack was zero, is jumping into max volume immediately. And that's why we get that click. So we, we can introduce, introduce a fade in. That seems to resolve the click. Okay, so this is sounding really good already. Um, you can play with maybe some re reverbs. I find that reverbs tend to um, kind kind of dampen the sound a bit, but you can experiment. Just make sure you have a low cut to remove the low frequencies then from the reverb. You might even want to add some hyper dimension to make it even more expensive. Distortion sometimes is nice, add some harmonics. You can sometimes turn on the filter and then increase the drive to add some uh, additional harmonics or distortion. Now I just got this beat here. I'm just gonna uh, play a beat and try to maybe make a little little clip with this uh, sound. that loop I'm just gonna quantize it you could adjust perhaps the bass note maybe you want to uh, bring more focus on the higher you note, know, the fifth note, you know, so you could perhaps bring the bass down. have it that's the basics of creating the house organ or house bass again very simple start with two sine waves set the second sine wave uh, seven semitones up otherwise known as a fifth up from the root 
and make sure the octave is one octave above the the root frequency then you can play with the amplitude envelope um, add a short decay and then finally you can add some effects primarily to delay well what is what will make it sound a little more expensive and then from there on you can just experiment and tweak to get the sound that you want so i hope that helps uh, go on and and try to practice and make your own house organ comment uh, in below and let me know what you think of this uh, tutorial if you thought it was helpful and finally if if you like what you saw today then definitely like this video subscribe and also let me know what other sounds you'd like to see in future videos until then we'll see you at the next video